Back in 1738, Swiss mathematician and physicist Daniel Bernoulli Hello. published a work entitled Hydrodynamica. In this volume, Bernoulli wrote one of his most well-known contributions to the world of physics, Bernoulli's Principle. Eureka! In its simplest form, Bernoulli's principle states that static pressure plus dynamic pressure equals total pressure. It may sound like pretty basic stuff, but at the time, the idea was quite revolutionary. Let's check it out! You can see Bernoulli's principle at work every day in aeronautical applications, such as this airplane wing's curvature causing a pressure differential, resulting in greater lift. We also see it in automotive technology. I've got a need for speed! Where a carburetor uses a venturi or restriction in the airflow to create a pressure differential drawing the fuel and air into the combustion chamber at a greater velocity. Fun fact, in 2002, Bernoulli was inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame. Not bad considering he published his work over 150 years before the Wright brothers even thought of building their flying machine. Good show, old sport! So what does all of this have to do with full measurement? Well, among other things, we also see Bernoulli's principle at work in differential pressure flow meters. Here's how. Differential flow meters feature an artificial restriction such as this orifice plate. Two holes are located in the pipe walls, one before the restriction and one after. Tubes connect the two holes to a differential pressure sensor whose two pressure chambers are separated by a diaphragm. The sensor detects minute changes in pressure between the two chambers. When there is no flow, the pressure before and after the restriction is the same. Here's where Bernoulli's principle comes into play. When the fluid begins to flow, the velocity near the restriction increases significantly due to the decreased cross-section at the orifice plate, causing the static pressure on the downstream side of the pressure sensor to decrease, while the upstream pressure increases. The difference in pressure can be directly correlated to the flow velocity, as well as the mass and volume flow of the pipe. The higher the flow velocity, the greater the differential pressure that is measured by the pressure sensor. Differential pressure flow meters can measure liquids, gases, and steam, even at very high pressures and temperatures. Still have questions? Well, we've got answers. Be sure to like and subscribe!